here again, PW Wakta. Peace, welcome back. I am currently in this BMW X6 that we were just showing you guys a few images and stuff of it from the outside. You'll also see a bit of the inside as we're going along. But what we're going to be doing today is talking about why I love this car. So BMW have come out with this coupe sort of version, which is a four door, it's not a two door. It's a coupe sort of version of the X5. So the X5, which is more of a square shape, this is more of a slick coupe. Sort of cut, cuts out the back of it. There's all sorts of mixed reviews and stuff about this car. This is the 2015 spec car, so um, it's, it is newer than the first X6. The original one came out around about 2008, and they had a couple of different editions of it, so an LCI and a normal. And then it was this shape, which they've totally transformed the look of the car. And to be honest with you, I think I think. It's a fantastic machine. But going back to what people think about it. Now there's all sorts of people got different reviews about it. There's quite a lot of people out there that don't like it. And the reasons for not liking it is the shape of it. And how when you're looking in this rear view mirror, how small the back window is. But me personally, I don't really mind about that because I can still see. If I need to know who's behind me, I can still see through that mirror and I know exactly who's behind me. We'll take a right here. This is a bit of countryside around here, so I'm gonna take a right and see where we get to. So yeah, looking through the back window is not really a problem at all because I can see everything through it. And when it comes down to parking and stuff the car, not too much of an issue either because you've got a reverse camera that shows you exactly where you gotta go so this specific spec is an x6 x drive three liter diesel okay so it's just a straight three liter diesel with a single turbo on it and then they do come in the full 40d which is still a three liter but it's a twin turbo and they also come in a 50d which is the twin turbo, I would probably say a remap, which is even faster than the 40D. Now for a four x four, I love to cruise. And for me, it's a cruising machine. It's not something that I wanna be putting my foot down and stuff like that, or even taking it off road, which what a four x four is supposed to do. So this is not, for me personally, it's something that I, I just love driving. You're on top of the world. And when you do want to put your foot down, don't get me wrong, for a three litre diesel, it's still got some power. Now you can get onto Google and stuff like that and Google what sort of power this is. I'm not too sure, I think it's a 245 BHP, but as I say, I'm not sure. If you guys want to know a little bit more about it, just Google it, three litre DX5, and uh, X6 or X5, sorry they will tell you exactly what sort of horsepower and stuff like that is so for me then guys as I was saying before comfortability can't go wrong with it I feel like I'm on top of the world and what's even better is when I'm driving this thing around people give you way they know it's such a big car they're like you know what there's no point even trying to mess about with it they'll stay behind and they give you away and what I like of it also is getting it down on the country lanes and enjoying one, the view, second, the ride, third, the comfortability of it. Awesome. This one, as you can see guys, it's got the red leather. So in the red leather, they are red heated, fully electric Napa seats. These have got the bolsters. They are manually uh, moving back and forward. They're not electric. 
but you can use it if you're feeling a little bit more comfortable if you want to feel a bit more comfortable you can use it so the seats full leather immaculate seats the rear seats are hardly ever been sat in and for the mileage this car's only got what about 39,000 miles on the clock so for the mileage you know you ain't gonna really get much of it anyway anywhere on it anyway so not too bad at all color combination from the gunmetal gray of the exterior to the red inside maybe something I wouldn't have bought um, if I didn't have red leathers if it was black leathers I probably wouldn't have bought it so red leathers is an advantage compared to my 640D and this X6 you know it's roughly the same drive it's just the difference is you're sitting on top of the world and yes the 640d is a lot more faster than this but like i said i don't mind that you know as long as when i need to put my foot down it does move with about 250 brake horsepower it's not too bad it does go when you want it to go for a 4x4 so all good for me guys have a look at the images and stuff that we've got on there There'll be a bit more about the car and stuff and showing a few more different shots and stuff of the car. Check it out. If you are out there looking for a BMW X6 or an X5 and you don't mind exactly what I've just said, then X6 is rather something I would personally go for. For you guys, check it out if it's something that suits you. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already Like and share my channel also a few different things coming Stick on that bell icon as well so you can so you know when there's a few new things coming along Thank you very much for watching Peace out